At DockerCon, we announced that Kubernetes support is coming to the Docker platform. With Docker Enterprise Edition, you'll be able to deploy a fully managed cluster and use Kubernetes as your scheduler. Kubernetes runs alongside Docker Swarm in Docker EE, so you can have one project running on Kube and another project running on Swarm in the same cluster, all with support from Docker Inc for containers running on Windows and Linux, and with all the features you know and love from Docker EE. With Docker Community Edition for Mac and Windows, you'll be able to spin up a full Kubernetes environment on your workstation. With no installation or configuration, everything is set up in Docker for Mac or Docker for Windows. In this video, I'll show you what the Kubernetes experience looks like in Docker for Mac. I'll start Docker for Mac running, and this is a preview build with Kubernetes support built in. When Docker starts, it provisions a full kube environment, so when I list the containers, I can see etcd and the kube scheduler, manager, DNS server, and all the other components. Docker for Mac also sets up the Kubernetes command line, so I can run kubectl get services to see the Kubernetes service running, and kubectl get pods shows me I don't currently have any pods. I'm going to follow this Kubernetes tutorial to deploy WordPress. This creates persistent volumes for the data and runs MySQL and WordPress pods. I've downloaded all the deployment YAML files for the tutorial and I'll start by creating the persistent volumes. That creates two volumes, which I can see with kubectl get PV, and they're deployed as defined in the YAML file with 20 gigabyte capacity and read write once access. One volume will be used by MySQL and the other by WordPress. Kubernetes recently added support for secrets, and I'll create a secret for the MySQL root user password. The MySQL deployment definition uses that secret and exposes it as an environment variable in the container. I'll create the MySQL deployment. This starts a MySQL pod and a MySQL service. So now I can create the WordPress deployment. And that adds a WordPress pod and WordPress service. The WordPress service has a load balancer using a random local port. When I browse to the load balancer, I see the WordPress installation page. Choose a language, fill in the site details, and now I can log in to WordPress. A new WordPress site always creates this comment, and I can use that to check that the data is being persisted. The MySQL service isn't configured for external access, but I can set up port forwarding and send traffic from my Mac into the MySQL pod on the standard port 3306. I use SQLectron, which is a SQL client built on Electron, and it has support for MySQL. I'll connect to the MySQL container using localhost as the server address and the root user credentials I set up in the secret. Here's the WordPress database with the default comment. That's all working fine. I followed through a standard Kube tutorial using a full Kubernetes environment which Docker for Mac created for me. With Docker CE, I have the full power of Kubernetes and Docker Swarm, and I can choose between them without any complex setup. So that's Kubernetes running in Docker CE. I ran a version of Docker for Mac with Kubernetes support, and that gave me a full Kube deployment, running locally with no installation or configuration steps. Then I deployed WordPress on Kubernetes using MySQL for the database. That's a distributed application that runs across multiple pods, services, and volumes. I used native Kube deployment definitions and the kubectl command, and that's all supported by Docker out of the box. Kubernetes support for Docker CE is coming first to Docker for Mac. You can join the beta program and get the simplest way to run a full Kube environment on your laptop. Head to docker.com slash Kubernetes to sign up for the beta and to learn how Docker EE brings an enterprise containers as a service platform to Kubernetes.